Hey guys, it's Tyra. If you're new here, hi, hello. And if you're not new here, welcome back. In today's video, I am doing my three month chop. You guys know every three months I keep up with my trims. And honestly, that is what you should be doing as well. I am such an advocate for making sure you keep up with your trims because it is the most effective way to keep split ends, fairy knots, um, damage, heat damage, color damage. Literally, it's the fastest way to fix damage. It's just cutting it off. Big chops to trims to, to dusting of the ends. All of those ways are my favorite ways to get rid of any type of damage. I'm one of those people, anytime I see some sort of damage, some sort of weird curl, I'm, I'm chopping. I'm chopping. I'm absolutely chopping. Because if you don't chop, you allow that hair to continue to grow, which is going to continue to break off, which is going to continue to split, which is going to continue to knot. It's just like, why won't you just nip it in the bud and just cut it off? Anywho, back to the matter at hand. I'm getting my three months trim. It's February. My last trim was in November, I believe. Yes, if you've been following me for a while, I am at a new salon. Honestly, it's not new to me. Maybe new to you guys, but not new to me. This is actually the first salon that I came to back when I first moved to Austin in 2021. I came back because I stopped going to the last salon for a handful of reasons, which we're not going to get into. But I'm glad to be back at this salon. I'm glad to actually um, discover new stylists and, you know, just be a part of a more welcoming and, um, I don't know, friendly salon. Um, I actually got my hair done by the owner. That's who actually is washing my hair um, today, which was a, such a sweet treat because this is actually the day before Valentine's Day. And the girl that was supposed to cut my hair, she actually left. And she has a suite now, which we're going to be visiting her suite because she and I have been keeping in contact for a while for me to go and get my hair done by her. And when I say get my hair done, I mean get my trim by her. Um, I've been wanting to get my trim by her for a very long time, but every time I wanted to do it, she was either booked up or I was busy and I had my wedding. So it just never fell into play. And the one time that I did have an appointment with her, which is supposed to be in this video today, she left. But for good reasons, because congratulations to her. She literally has a whole um, studio now, I think is what it is. Um, or do they call it a studio? She has a suite, not a studio, but a suite. So, so let's get to hair care. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm like trying to film this whole voiceover in one go and not like stop it at all. But... You guys, I cannot stress enough how important it is to keep your ends cut. Like, I just cannot stress it enough. If I don't keep up with nothing else, I'm going to keep up with my ends cut. Like, it's just so effective for your natural hair. It feels good. It feels so refreshed to go home, have your wash day the following week, and feeling fresh ends when you detangle. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's the best thing ever. If you watch my first Big Chop video, which I did film, go back and watch it. You can see that my hair has grown so much since August. Can't remember if I shared it or not, but I did Big Chop my hair in August. And this is now February. So this is six plus month, six plus or six, what am I saying? This is six months of growth. And when my last style is chopped, and she chopped it pretty low. And guys, my hair has grown so freaking much. The owner actually said that what she had to chop off was what you're supposed to chop off of three months of growth. Like, when I tell you, I was so happy to hear that because it's like I'm literally having my hair inspected by a whole different specialist, like a whole different natural hair specialist. This is not me just looking at myself and thinking like, oh, my hair looks good. Like, you always, always, always want to get your hair um, looked at by someone else that's in the natural hair industry because other people can see what you can't see. So for her to say that, I just reassured that I'm doing a good job with my um, hair care. And it just makes me feel good that I'm actually teaching you guys good things. Like to be a natural hair creator, advocate, enthusiast, sometimes I feel like I'm down on myself and I feel like I'm not teaching y'all enough about hair care because y'all just watch me. But I'm like, all you have to do is watch someone 
to follow what they do to grow your hair. Sometimes someone don't even have to like sit there and get a pen to paper and chalk to a board and have you write all write all these things down because half the time you're not retaining any of that sometimes you just have to watch sometimes you literally just have to watch and honestly i can relay that in real life message because think about when you are following christ and you're trying to be more christ-like you don't listen to a lot of the things that people say your walk with christ isn't based off of what people say but it's how people act right so apply that to hair care. It's not about what people say. It's you're just following their routine. You're watching them. So getting back on track, my hair care is like at an all-time high right now. A year ago, I couldn't have said this because I literally went six plus months, a year plus with no trim. But my hair is on a full 360. It looks amazing. I'm so happy about it. If you're wondering why I get it done every three months, it's because that's how my hair works. I can't go longer than three months um, without having my hair trimmed because my hair gets knotted easily, tangled easily. Like, that's just how my hair is. You have to really just watch your hair. Because I've heard some people say, like, what if you're chopping off good hair that doesn't need to be chopped off? Like, three months is not, like, a super long time. Not everybody can go four or five, six months without hair care chopping. For me... Even like she said, she didn't have to take a whole lot off at all because like she can tell that my hair is healthy. Even if you don't have a lot taken off, you can still get a little dusting, which is pretty much what I got this time. All in all, all I can say is keep up with your hair trims and watch your hair. Watch how your ends feel. Watch when you are detangling in the shower. Watch your hair when you are styling it. How, how easy is it? How hard is it? For me, like I said, I can tell when my hair needs a reset, when I can feel, first of all, I keep up with the, the timing. Like I just literally every three months I'm going to the salon. Even if I don't feel like my hair is crazy, I'm still going to go to the salon to get it dusting. But one of the key factors for me is looking at my um, detangling process. Hey guys, so I'm back home from my trim. This is my hair. I want to do a little link check. Let me zoom you guys out. I want Here's a little link check. I like my hair looks so good. Um, the owner of the salon is the one who actually cut my hair today, which I just thought was like the best thing ever because duh, like how 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 better how how much babe, how do I say it? Huh? Who better to cut my hair than the salon owner? Y'all like, what the heck? So, I'm so happy about it. I love my hair so much. I'm gonna stand back so you guys can get like a full gist of. Um, and tonight I'm going to show you guys something really special that we're building right now. So stay tuned. I'm actually also about to film another, I'm actually about to film another video that will be dropping, not this week, maybe this weekend. Um, it's obviously a hair tutorial on a new product that is coming out. So guys, Valentine's Day is actually tomorrow, which is obviously amazing. Oh. Up, 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 up. Okay, Valentine's Day is actually tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair for the night. Um, and then I will show you guys the final result tomorrow. So, see you guys tomorrow for Valentine's Day.